may be the last you see of daylight for a long time. Once inside, the opportunity to escape will be extremely limited. This hell pit could be your new home for days, weeks or months. And the enemy will be doing everything in their power to make life as uncomfortable as possible for you. This will include the continued use of softening up tactics. By now you'll be desperate for food, water and sleep. They'll want to humiliate and degrade you and try to destroy your spirit and resolve. With only a brief respite, it's time for your interrogation ordeal to begin. The first stages you're likely to encounter are known as TQ. TQ, or tactical questioning, is the initial brutal interrogation phase. A local commander will attempt to extract information from you. At the same time, he's making a decision on whether or not you're a candidate for further questioning by interrogation experts at a more secure facility. Under the Geneva Convention, I only have to give this guy four details. Number, rank, name, date of birth. Name, rank, look up Edward, Edward, look up Edward, name, rank and number Edward. Name, rank and number! Stone. Two four double nine eight six zero nine. What's your unit, Edward? Water, Edward. Always take any chance to eat or drink when it's right in front of you. You're not being submissive. You're just trying to survive. Is that nice, Edward? You want another drink, Edward? Edward, all you have to say is yes. Even saying a simple yes could have far-reaching consequences. If you answer yes to a question, you can get edited in on a tape recorder and it can be, do you like Saddam Hussein? And they'll fill the yes in. Do you like Tony Blair? And they'll fill the no in. So at all times, you only answer your big four, number, rank, name, date of birth. Cigarette, Edward? Simply answer yes, it's yours. <coughs> Write down the name Stone and you'll be free. They'll stop beating you, Stone. 2409-6998. Unit Stone. Unit Stone. <coughs> How did you insert Stone? Helicopter? <coughs> Parachute? Six double nine eight. Between interrogation sessions, you will probably undergo unrelenting softening up techniques day and night. You'll be deprived of food, water and sleep. They'll use sudden shocks, constant loud white noise, anything that will disorientate your mind, weaken your resolve and deprive you of your senses. Worst of all is the dreaded stress position. The technique of using stress positions is simple, but highly effective in softening up captives. When forced to remain in these positions, your muscles soon start to seize up. It becomes agony after an hour, and torturous after several. Red Cross parcel, Edward. Sing here, I'll give it to you. Like you, I'm a military man. I'm trying to make things easy. Simply sign the paper, Edward, and you can have it. It goes without saying that under no circumstances should you sign anything. Once they've got your signature, it could be used for all kinds of propaganda. Pay attention. 
It's been very difficult, Edward. Perhaps we should try another method. Your marriage done. <coughs> Do you want your wife to be a widow, Stone? Do you want to be dead, Stone?